Hello everyone and welcome back for more Let's Learn series here in Surviving Mars. Let's continue where we left off. Okay, we need our Explorer, but our Explorer is recharging. Okay, let's double check our research. Okay, we're doing colonists without proper specialization suffer a lower work penalty, right? Then we're doing good vibrations. Okay, and then Earth Mars initiative. Right, give us additional research. Okay, perfect. Speaking of extra research, I think we should start thinking about maybe putting in another dome right here, a science one that we talked about doing. I mean, I think it makes sense. Oh, he needs a grocer, huh? All right, so let's do this then. Let's pause for just a second. Let's put in some more dome services. We need... We need more living quarters, first off. So let's put that in. And then... Since there's a couple of people that would benefit from dining or food... Hmm. If we did a diner, we would get dining, social, and food. If we did a grocer, though, we'd get food and shopping, and there was a couple of people that wanted shopping. Okay, so we could do a grocer right here, which will have to be um, staffed. So we'll need to bring up some more, some more people for that, which is okay. We need to anyway, I guess. Um, what else could we do here? We... Could do some food, right? How big's a farm? Oh, it's like a whole section, right? Um... And our food's not going down that fast, so I guess we can hold off on that for now and just keep bringing up food, but... Bungle farm wouldn't be bad either. Base production is five, but it takes six workers, which is like, man, it's a lot. And it's an out, it's an outcrop building. In other words, we can stick it outside the dome, which is nice. So we could like put it like over here. Wouldn't be bad. Well, that's what that can be our backup plan. Is that we'll do fungal farm if we have to. Let's just build these services for now. Sector scan. We could also put in like a little park or something. Um, no, no, not reclamation services. Here we go. Relaxation, exercise. Yeah, I could like right here, put in a little garden. Ooh, or lake. Meteor shower incoming. Uh oh. Meteor shower incoming. We should be okay though. Like it can't destroy any of our pipes, right? Or they don't leak or whatever. So as long as it doesn't oh, you know what? Uh not the explorer. This guy right here. Let's move the rover away. Resources are low. Just in case some critical structure gets hit. Machine parts are low. How low? Down to five. All right. Are you loaded up yet? No. It takes a long time to extract the rare minerals. And we're not, it's not optimal right now because we don't have enough people. How's the dome sanity? Comfort 59. Sanity's 92. Okay. Go check that out. How are we on water? I think we're fine, but let's just double check. 
Oh, okay. So we have plenty of water for now. Which is good, because we've scanned all of this and have not found another water source. And I don't like to use the moisture evaporators if I can keep from it. And since we haven't maximized this dome yet, we probably should not build another one just yet. However, we can go ahead and get another rocket coming, in which case, what would we bring? Machine parts for sure, because we need those. Might as well bring some more electronics and polymers too, just a little bit. Anomaly analyzed. New text There's available. More to the barren environs of the red planet. Increases production of a factory. That's really nice. Shuttles and rockets and shuttles require less fuel. That's pretty cool too. Hmm. Of course, it's six of one half dozen another, right? If we put up another dome and make it science focused, we're gonna get more money. Which would help. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's tough. There's so many things I want to do. We'll just leave this the way it is for now, though. Okay, are there any other anomalies for us to look at right now? I don't think so. No. Oh, that's nice. There's two rares up there. Be a good place for a colony. No, or extending the colony, however you want to look at it. Power surplus is good. What's, what's your problem? Are you out? Oh, we don't have you on during the night. Well, let's change that. Oh, no deposits. Okay. And then let's just get rid of it. Research complete. And since we can put another concrete over here, no problem. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Concrete extractor. We will face you like this. Sector scanned. Oh, is that too, that's too far, huh? Uh, we could put it right there against that rock face. That'll work. Like this. Yeah. Cancel that. And I don't remember how much you get per... It's based on the difficulty. I think it's like 300 million for a full deal of minerals. Yeah, I think. <laughs> don't hold me to that, people. I think it is. Okay, so general training is done. Okay. License Martian technology used back on Earth. Oh, 500 million. Eh. Is that a repeatable tech? Yeah, it is. Okay. So you could just do that, too. Yeah, man, science is... Whew, science is clearly the way to go. Sheesh. Which makes sense, I guess, right? It does. It makes sense. Okay, you can hang out right here. You can come back. You can hang out down here. Anomaly found. Cable fault reported. Five more souls before we can bring up more people. But, I better go ahead and send a cargo rocket before we start having issues. Yeah, we'll send some machine parts. They are expensive. Man. Whew. So we do need to get a uh, factory going. Well, maybe that's what we could do with the second dome, is we could do... Um, hmm. Oh, we need food. We need machine parts. Maybe that's what we do next. Is we do a dome that's food and production. So we could do like um, botanists and engineers. 
that way we would have machine parts. We don't have any regular metal extraction either, and at some point that's going to be a problem. So we got to be thinking about that too. Well, we'll send up some machine parts, some electronics, and some polymers, because we don't want to have issues. Yeah, so we'll do that. And then prefab buildings... Yeah, electronics from rare metals. Yeah, we're not at that point yet, I don't think. Let's grab another drone hub. We've got the space. Let's grab some more food, too. Yeah, man, this is pricey doing it this way. I mean, we're, we're okay, because we have, like, a bunch of money, but I don't want to be wasteful. I feel like we are, because we don't have the services, like, on Mars itself. Alright, we'll launch that. Anomaly found. Oh, another anomaly. Okay, nice. Cable fault reported. You guys full over here? Yeah. Okay, and the water tanks? Oh, you're not full. Okay, so we probably do want to put another water extractor down then. So we're like basically at cap. Okay, let's do that. Mm, water extractor. And put right like this. Nope. Yep. Yeah. And then a pipe. Research complete. Anomaly analyzed. Actually, let's put it on this side in case we put another extractor down. Let's just do it like that. That's cool instant pipes. Machine parts are going to get here just in time. Twenty-four thirty on the exports. Sector you can also scan. automate these, like right here, automated mode, where it'll just as soon as it's got enough exports, it'll go again. You can also turn off or, you know, disallow exports and whatnot. You can also prioritize. So, yeah, you can also salvage it if you want. Well, I'm not sure why you would do that unless you were, like, really desperate or something. Okay, go scan that one. And don't get hit by a meteor. Thank you. Martian education, cloning, Martian born, advanced engines, uh, utility crops next, and then factory upgrade. Yeah, that looks good.
Okay, in you come. Bringing him supplies. Hey now, get a little close there, meteors. Better watch yourself. So, 198 on metal, realized. huh? Any more metal we can go get? Gotta be, right? Building a new home on an alien world? That takes guts, to say the least. Founder has the enthusiast trait. Okay. That's the spirit. Speaking of which, how is Geo one doing? Couldn't satisfy their interest gaming. All right. Average Research morale complete. 69. That's pretty good. I mean, honestly, for our first for our first deal here, that's pretty good. Not bad. So we should be ready to bring in more people as soon as the founder stage ends. So we got 600 per soul right now. Okay, good. We could outsource some research too. How much would that cost us? A thousand for 200 million in the next five souls. Yeah, no. <laughs> Never mind. I'm cheap. I ain't doing it. Emergency training. Medics have plus 10 their specialty. No, I don't care about that right now. Drone hub. Nope, I don't care about that either. I do want the shuttle hub. It's so expensive, but man, it is so nice. Let's do machine parts factory. We have a prefab though, right? I believe we do. Yeah, we do. We have one. We could bring that in too. Problem is you don't want to mix domes too much. It's just better. I found that it's better if you specialize the domes. So like this dome is essentially for this thing right here. That's its job. Oh, hey, good. You can go home. See ya. All right. How much money do we have? We have basically 6.1 billion, right? So let's see how much we get from that. And we're not going to put any rare metals on this one. We're just going to have them fuel it up and we'll send it back. This will be like the cargo one. Sector scanned. Anything else for you to explore? Nope. Okay, head back, please. Thank you. Thank you. No meteors, so you can come back over. I like to do that, by the way, just in case, like, I don't know, all the drone hubs get destroyed or whatever. Nice to have like this as like backup the RC rover. Speaking of drone hubs, where do we want to put our next one? That was a good question. Hmm? Double metal over here. How much? Eight hundred. Eight hundred. So 
650. Bunch of concrete. Maybe we just put another drone hub up, like, right here where we're at. We don't need to go out, I don't think, yet. Nah, we can set up right over here. Let's do that. Okay, so... Since we don't have shells yet, we want the overlap to be... Pretty good. So... Let's do it like... Maybe something like this? Oh, overlaps deposit. Okay, what if we go... Like so. Funding received. Yeah, that works. Funding received. Oh, 660 million? Really? Whoa, okay. Okay, that was nice. <laughs> okay, so rare metals extraction is uh, definitely, you know, definitely something you want to do, even if you're doing quote-unquote sciencey stuff for money. Yeah, that was a nice infusion of cash, huh? Okay, and you're ready to go, so get out of here. Here, let's put that prefab up, please. There you go. And then let's get you some power. Oh, how do we want to do this? Hmm. Maybe we just run it across. Uh, yeah, let's do that. And then to the dome is fine. Yeah, the dome can be the pass through. It's fine. And then we'll give them a wind turbine. Mm hmm. Actually, we don't need to do that. So we've got a power accumulator. Sector scanned. And yes, you can set up transport routes for your RC transport RC transports, and they'll they'll collect whatever in the area. The problem is that they don't keep searching. Like it's got to be like right in the area. So what I have found, for me, and you know, if you've had you know if you have greater success. Doing it a different way, you can. I, I send them out, unless it's a huge deposit, I send them out manually. Like, here's 45 right here, and another 20, so it might be worth it to set up a route for this area. But generally speaking, I feel like it's better to just kind of keep an eye on them. When they, you know, when they, they've they finished a deposit, send them to the next one until they get up to their max, and then send them home. Plus, you can monitor their power more closely that way. But, again, you can set up a transport route if you want. Certainly a valid thing to do. Storage. Dumping site. Yep, that's in service range. Good. Fourteen of one hundred. Okay. On the drone count. You guys got nothing to do, huh? What's this guy's problem? No deposits? Really? You're already out? Alright. Well, let's remedy that then. Put a couple of these in, we might as well.
well, then again, how much concrete do we have? Yeah, I guess we don't need to do that. <laughs> I was like, yeah, complete. maybe, maybe we don't have to do that. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Just wanted that little bit gone, but all right. Okay, and they'll hook that up, and then these guys will have something to do. Concrete storage full? No, it's not. Metal storage is also not full. Okay, you go power up. You're good. Okay, we need some place for waste dump. So, how about over this here? This will go down in history. Oh, nice! Colony has been evaluated positively. Additional colonies can be called from Earth. Nice. Okay, so hold on. Air, check the range. So right over here, we can do it. Dump site. Here we go. This one that we finished... What was the deal with this one? Why is this one not on? I don't even remember... Oh, because we did, we weren't using this area at all. That's why. Okay, I remember now. Let's go ahead and turn these on. Since we're using this area now, we might as well. Go. That's perfectly acceptable. We do need more machine parts already, though. Shush. That is a constant battle. I really want to get a machine factory. I mean, we have the prefab, but I didn't really want to put it in here. Well, we'll figure that out in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider hitting that thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, I'm Mal, and I'll see you later.